Often when you're designing a game, you want particular words or phrases to stand out. Let's say I've decided to make the words spells here stand out and be a different color. How would I go about applying that style to just particular words? I can open up this new project text styles and that gives me a preview of the card that I've got selected, if I've selected a card. Um, and it actually creates this text style for me. At the moment, it's untitled. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it spell. Um, you can't actually have spaces in this, by the way. So if I, if I call this spell style, it will automatically put in a hyphen there, which is good. But keeping it nice and short is, is a good idea. Um, it's blue text by default, but I want to change that to purple. So you can see that updates here in this little preview. I would like it to be bold and maybe I'll grab a different font as well, something like that. I can actually click on these three examples here and I can actually type in different words. So I'm just going to type in spell and I don't mind that as a preview. So I'm just going to save and close for now. But before I do that, I'm just going to look at this here. This says use this text style like this. Now, this is the format that you have to use it in to apply it to text. So for example, you have this curly brace spell. Now spell is the name of the text style here. So if I misspelled that, if I misspelled that and called that something different, it um, wouldn't apply anything at all. So I'm just going to copy that essentially. I can click here or I can click save and close. It'll save either way. And now what I want to do is come over here and I want to paste that in. Now you can see here, I can actually type any text in here. So any text and that style that I made will be applied. Um, I'm actually wanting in this case, just the word spell though. So I'm just going to go ahead and type spells. So now I can read this and it stands out, cannot be targeted by spells. And that kind of stands out in a nice way that somebody could see easily. Now imagine that I have this copied in different parts of my project. So maybe this Noble Protector Knight, redirect damage dealt by, here we go, spells to adjacent creatures. Um, if I decide later on, actually, I don't really like that purple or I don't really like that font. Look, it is pretty big. I can just come here and I can click on the class over here and I can just change it here from the one spot. So if I want, this is a quite a big font. It's bigger than the, the other font here. So I'm actually just going to turn down the font size here a little bit. Now you'll notice that this is a percentage. Pretty much all the styles in here are percentage based and they're based on the current text that you already have here in this zone. So if that makes sense, rather than setting it to a particular pixel size, we're actually setting it relative to this so that if you were to apply the same class somewhere else, say in a title or in a different size text, it would still look good and it would scale accordingly with the text in the context that it's in, if that makes sense. So I can go ahead and save that now, or maybe I'll change the color to blue as well. And that will update wherever it is. So that's how you do text colors. Um, what about something a bit more complex? Let's say I want to make something for the keyword damage, or I want damage to really stand out. Say that's a feature of this game. I'm going to click this goblin spearman here. He, he deals one damage. I'm going to create a new style. I'm going to create a new one here. I'm going to call it damage, but I'm just going to use the shorthand DMG. And this time I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to go for black text, but I'm going to have a background color of red, maybe a deeper red. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to go to border. I'm going to just give the, give a kind of a rounded edge there. And you'll notice that it's really tight on the text there. So I'm going to go to text settings and I'm just going to give it a padding of 30. Now this isn't 30 pixels again, this is relative. This is 30% um, of an EM. So that's like one character. So that doesn't look too bad to me. Maybe I'll make it, I'm gonna go 40, just a little bit more breathing room there. And I'm gonna save and close. And I could, you know, make a gradient or a box shadow or something like that if I wanted to. 
So now I'm going to come here and I'm going to apply this. So I'm going to say, I could copy it as before, but I just, I know what it is. So it's DMG colon, the text that I want to have, and then the closing bracket there. Actually, I probably would go back and I'd give that a bit more top padding there. But let's come to this human archer here. So we've got, that's two damage. So I'll just change that right there and one damage. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I will come in and I can make I can make changes to that if I like. How would I go about um, making something that has a set size? So at the moment, this will grow with the box. Um, so if that makes sense. So if I said, you know, 100 and whatever that number is damage, this background will grow with it because it will, it will it's in line, if that makes sense. But let's say if I've got an icon, I actually want that to be the exact size all the time. So how would I do that? Well, let's say if I wanted to make mana, for example. So this forest wizard here is a probably a good example for that. I want to make a new style. I'm going to call this one mana. I could even just call it M because that's very, very easy for me. If that's the only result in my game or one of a few, I could probably get away with calling it something really short like this. So I'm going to give it a background. I'm going to give it a nice bright background there. I'm going to make the corners go up. But I don't want this behavior here where it's a different size. I want it to be an actual circle. So I can come to positioning. And instead of having this the height and the width, this is called zone. It's slightly confusing. It's not really a zone. It's an inline inline style. I'm going to set it to a set height. So that's three kind of 300, 3EM, if that makes sense, and 300%. I'm just going to say, I don't know, maybe let's try one. That's good. It's a little small for my liking, so I might go 150. 150. And that's pretty nice. That's a nice a nice um, circle there now. It's always going to be a circle, and I'll change the text color to white. Now, you'll notice here that this one is breaking out this word longer. That's okay, even though that looks really weird here. That's okay because I'm only going to have one number in it like that. If I was going to have two numbers, like say if my numbers were going higher, I might make that slightly bigger than 150 just to fit it in nicely. So now I've got my mana. I'm going to save it. I'm going to, again, apply it over here. So curly bracket M colon. Now, I don't need to say three mana anymore because the whole point of this is that I just want to have this nice icon. So I'm going to do that. And of course, I can do it over here for this one mana as well. And I'll just change that to a one. Yeah, so that is one way that you can get um, inline text styles working for you and yeah please give us some feedback let us know how they go and if you've got more ideas um, for ways that you want to use them please let us know there are some default there are some default um, text styles here that you can try out if you want you can just save them over here so i've made a coin one here you probably want to go ahead and save that but then rename it coin copy is an awful name so you might name it Gold, for example, could just be called G and it would look just like that. So yeah, let me know if you want other ones to be added into here and yeah, keen to hear how you go with it. Thanks.